Hey Rainwater, I told Cash that I'm going to host very soon and he was like, oh, maybe you can wait like a week so everyone can learn and see that you are doing this event. But the reptilians were messing with me so much while I was working on this. I was like, I'm going to teach as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can stop me. <laughs> they really tried, you know, that's why I just wanted to do this yes, every time, bro. Every time making us stronger, feeling up <laughs> the machine. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm sharing my screen if you guys are seeing. Okay, I'm starting. Is everything okay? <laughs> yeah, we can see, we can see. Okay, by the way, I did this, I drew this logo after I saw it in like a GFL um, part, like a, not the logo of GFL, but it was for a place inside the GFL. Uh, staying safe together. Let's start with learning what is an Archon. An Archon can be anyone. You know, a human can be an Archon, just like how anyone. So the word definition for Archon is someone who doesn't want you to grow see your light or potential and a person who claims the right to rule and have authority of other beings and see they see themselves as higher rightful owners like you know ego people and i also have other definitions <laughs> uh what i like to say lower lives on a higher plane and you can see other definitions <laughs> Don't mind me, I was just in a dark uh, fighter mode when I was writing this. Disclaiming before we learn about the th beings. So I'm going to talk about like races, like ETs and shadow beings and stuff. And I am not claiming to say they are all evil. There is always good people and bad people in every single race. And the dark does not equal to evil. I'm not racist. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to have four portions and the first one is Archonic Extraterrestrials, our alien friends. Not, not really friends, but you know, aliens. So the first one, Alpha Alpha Draconians. So we're all, of course, talking about the Archonic Alpha Dracos here. And they're very strong and have scaly skin. They believe they were the first people ever live in this universe. So they think they are the owners and everybody should be um, slaves <laughs> and working for them. And these evil ones, they're not very family oriented. They they don't really feel like much emotional attachments to their family and stuff. So they just feed their children uh, fear and anger, not really raising them. And if the child dies, for example, they think, oh, the weak left and we became stronger. So they don't give <laughs> uh, much attention or care about it. And, um, you know, they are the leaders of the Archons, kind of. Um, when they attack humans, they have mind powers and they also have... Um, like devices use on people and you know other beings and they always like attack the mind the brain like for example i was attacked by alpha draco and they put like a device on my brain and it took me like a week to remove it completely you know it was like an enslavement device basically and well i didn't slay uh actually they were like uh, girl don't do it and i still went and i got attacked and for real like when they use like their power or their devices on you you physically get sick i was like throwing up for two days for no reason i remove it by using high vibrational clearing uh, angelic light sounds and meditations and stuff and it took me like a week to completely remove everything thank you <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when your guides and people say don't go maybe not go so <laughs> when they attack your brain and mind they can um, delete your memories they can change your memories and put completely fake ones make you believe in something else so the whole idea they just want to enslave so albino alpha dracos alpha albinos are just same with the white skin they usually known to have wings by the way but not all of them i think because my nemesis was one of these guys and he didn't have a wing anyway kings leaders commanders are the albino ones and they have a thing where they like snort and make a sound it's just so funny <laughs> like to me it's so funny ridiculous but they see that as wow power they're all about alpha <laughs> They make sound with the snorting and oh my god, I am <laughs> so these guys are like commanders So they have armies and they have like clans of reptilians that work for them and they are very telepathic So they can 
can just in a millisecond give an order to their you know lower ones and they will just obey and they just work with fear so they scare even they like scare their own people <laughs> it's just the same but these guys are more powerful i guess and here you can also see i wrote they like when they want to enslave a planet they choose the elites and the leaders of that planet and enslave them, them to control the financial system and influence on religion and stuff and they of course did this to earth as well and they removed human history like burning libraries and stuff this guy and they rewrite the human history so we don't know the real history <laughs> they changed it a lot actually and by the way i was um i learned albinos like white skin ones are the ogs in their <laughs> sense i was like bro after they corrupted our system and stuff like is whitewash racism on like how racist white people thinking they're the better alpha draco culture bro <laughs> like for real just because you have white skin you are better like that's albino alpha draco not to be racist <laughs> reptilians so reptilians are you guys know oh shapeshifters strong guys kind of tall reptile eyes and bro about these guys how you can spot them they smell disgusting for real like when i say they smell disgusting i mean they smell i mean awful like frog piss i always say they smell like frog piss but imagine <laughs> like for real, my sister i just learned she got visited by a reptilian she didn't know and after we talk she was she literally said girl i felt like someone just take shit in the middle of my room <laughs> like it was smelling like that you can like they are not good at hiding you will definitely smell one if they get close to you or you know trying to do anything but the thing about these guys they are actually scared of you and your power like i got tricked by a reptilian in astral he, uh, he shapeshifted into someone i know and i didn't notice at first i was tricked for real then after i I noticed i was getting tricked i like noticed it was a reptilian i just looked and i uh, my eyes opened and the bro like knew i understood i was aware he got so scared <laughs> even didn't know how to run away so you guys know <laughs> like as long as you're aware they're going to be scared to do anything because they're scared of our power just you can see like how they're attacking so dirty lately you guys just saw some reptilians came to the server write all this awful racist stuff and all they are desperate <laughs> because we are winning this war they are desperate they will do anything and they're scared for real so small reptoids this guy <laughs> Um, these uh, ones are genetically created by Draco, so they're like, like an enslaved mutant, gener gener <laughs> genetically made uh, beings. They are very small, very fast. And about these guys, oh my god, they are the most annoying. <laughs> you guys don't have no idea if like a short little reptoid is like coming to you messing with you they i mean the reptilians and the alpha dracos don't even care about these guys they were just created for their work their dirty work so they will just send these guys as like a beats you know they don't even care i mean they are even known like alpha dracos known to just kill them when they <laughs> their nerves like even the reptilians don't give any meaning to these guys they don't really care but they were they are really so fast so small they also have like um uh, yes yeah, snake dna i think a little so that's why they're like sneaky fast in wars and stuff and they're like they're these guys were like one of the most weak ones so like for example when i uh, actually got face to face with the small reptoid they were just they just sent three of these guys to just to mess with us they were just talking so much so fast blah 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 just, you know annoying trying to trigger us so they don't like all their deal is just they want to trigger it and uh, here it says they have devices on their brain to control them so if you don't even care about them they can't do it Egonoids are kind of similar to the small reptiles because they're also like genetically made oops i'm sorry i just hit the mic by accident they're also genetically made <laughs> This picture, by the way, made by Andy. Shout out to Andy for making AI pictures. <laughs> and please, guys, don't make fun of how they look. Because I did that mistake when I first joined the GFL. One of these guys messed with me. And I said some racist stuff about how he looked. And my teacher, shout out to Hiku, by the way. We love you, Hiku. <laughs> scolded me and gave me like a very uh, big punishment we are not racist <laughs> we, 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 we make no comments about how they look <laughs> i mean these guys are genetically made like they're mutant this is not natural uh thing they are like half igona half uh quarter human quarter evil gray so it, when i say evil gray evil grays are already enslaved and genetically made so you know there's like many stuff <laughs> 
So these guys just want to see you fail to feed their ego. I mean, you there there's like a pattern where similar stuff happening here. They are um, who are enslaved by strong reptilians. These guys like kind of similar to small reptiles. Reptilians sent these guys before, so they will mess with you, trigger you, go like make you go in a lower vibration. So you kind of get like uh, get in a lower state. So the after the reptilian or alpha draco can can come and attack you. You see like how dirty they play, how <laughs> desperate they are. <laughs> But if you are in a higher vibration state, these guys cannot even survive in higher vibrations. Just very much similar to dark grays. So this is kind of a sensitive topic for me because I am a gray and I was also almost got enslaved, but I ran away. So <laughs> in a past life. So dark grays are enslaved and their DNA, they're coins. They are not very connected, you know, uh, 5D mindset. They are very much kind of became this thing. And there are, of course, like short ones, human sized ones tall ones and these guys on earth very much known as you know abductors abducting abducting humans stealing biological material from humans and their eyes are also canners they are taller grays <laughs> Well, they are not really like separate, like same thing, but not really, you know. <laughs> and usually in the greys, taller ones known to like be more superior, superior of the short ones. Um, so they can also like read minds, read stuff with their scanner lenses. They have like lenses on their eyes and they will, uh, they can also do like very kind of like kind of draconian things because they were enslaved by dracos. They learned some stuff from them so they can also like plants uh, fake memories and stuff after they abduct the person they can like delete memory of the abduction so you can keep them away by raising your vibration high vibration they cannot survive like uh, after earth goes to 4d to 5d these guys are not even going to be like a, any problem they will just leave because they just cannot survive in a high vibration environment orons orons similar to grace but not really <laughs> So Orons are like human size. Uh, they're all just same size, not really like short tall. They their heads are more like circle shaped. And, uh, the the thing about Orons, they were also enslaved and stuff, of course, and. Uh, they are all female. There is no male uh, Oron lost that <laughs> in the way. So they cannot have babies <laughs> by themselves. So they are also known to abduct humans. I kind of very similar stuff with the Dark Race. Yep, E.T. <laughs> I mean, the E.T. and Alien stuff are very much like how Dark Race and Orons look. Because they were the ones always like visiting Earth, showing themselves, abducting humans. So this was like the only alien communication human yet for a long time so that's why when i say when you say alien humans just think about the gray like dark grace and orange because that was the only communication they get they got so they used that visuals in their movies books uh that's all the ets i wrote so if you guys have any question about the ets uh this art also made by andy shout out to andy again i steal his art <laughs> We're going to talk about the lower other creatures next. Also spiders, well, also spiders are not really evil, but some other beings can also uh, control some spiders. So just spiders by themselves, they're not evil. They're just spiders, you know. But, uh, other shadow beings or lower astral creatures can um, control some spiders too, to mess with you maybe. <laughs> okay, if you guys don't have any questions about ETs, I mean, Genie, by the way, do you want to add something about Alpha Dracos maybe and how to fight with them and stuff? Yeah, I'll add a little some, some. So um, me, Cash, and Broly fought an Alpha Draco. And the biggest thing with that is that they show you images to put you in fear. Like, like, while fighting the Alpha Draco, something they did to me was project the image of them killing my mom, and that shit literally sent me back to my body. But after that, I'm like, oh, nah, fuck that. I had to go back inside. And, like, overall, if you become fearless towards them, can't really do much to manipulate you, and at that point, you just fight. So, becoming a brave person is really important when it comes to Alpha Draco. We show no fear, and you laugh at them. I just love that. I love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at the enemy. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's why they hate me, because I also triggered them. <laughs> like how they trigger me uh genie for the notes if you guys are oh okay so you really shouldn't be worried about these beings i mean i don't want you guys to be scared of any of these things like we are winning this war so they're not just going to come attack <laughs> you just like as long as you know and you're aware they cannot do anything they are actually scared <laughs>
for real they're so scared guys like the way they attack especially lately like they try everything so much it just bro it's embarrassing for real <laughs> You just come into my room and leaving that shit smell real. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start uh, talking about the lower astral creatures. The fake light beings. Okay, the, these guys we actually found out uh, lately. Uh, I actually didn't know much about them. Then Jeannie was talking about them and I got attacked by one of these guys. I have kind of like a nemesis now, I guess, because the thing hates me. <laughs> the fake light beings are multi-dimensional and they don't have a body. A form just this this image this just black hole looking thing and white aura white energy and there are of course different ones some are like strong like black holes some are just like spirits like orbs basically but they are very conscious they are very smart tricky whatever and uh, when they attack a person they just want to use the person as like a food source like they will not kill you they just want to feed on you you know and they attack cerebellum like your lower brain part little brain which is the mediator between the inter state and external environment for the unconscious unconscious mind so it attacks there because it uh, shows you fake visions when they're with you when they choose a target they choose a target when the target is like or feeling low sad about like griefing maybe like if you are like in a low emotional state then when they attack they use your energy form a body and they can form a body like a guide or like an angel and we're going to talk about that too and they trick you and they seem like they're nice they're for like they're for you and they feed you they tell you like uh, they tell you good things you're amazing you're this you're the queen you're the king of everything you're this and that so when they tell you like good stuff you of course believe that and when you look at the thing it's like white aura so it's hard to notice really uh you can notice them uh, by their actions if you're not good at reading that i mean um will not act as a real guide or a real angel they will just scare you into obedience they will say like good things so you believe them because they but they're actually feeding you ego you know they their actions seem like positive at first but they're actually very very negative and dark stuff and when they tell you to do something they're like you gotta do this this exact time this exact way and if you don't do that something horrible is going to happen and you know scare you and your guide and angels like will not scare you into obedience <laughs> So you can definitely notice that by the way their actions are. And uh, after you get used to them, they will like feed you slowly like fake visions, fake informations. Once you notice that, you can use real light to fight the fake light. I call upon the Archangel light. <laughs> I mean, when the thing attacked me at first, I didn't even notice what was that. Just it was just very painful thing in my cerebellum area, like and like behind my ears area. And I even look when I look at it, I just saw like white light. I was like, bro, why this white light is attacking me? I'm a devil angel. <laughs> I am for the light. So when I just after that it attacked me again, again, and I just had to like really focus and see, and all I saw was exactly this, this black hole. Genie, do you want to add anything about? this guys because i think you have some knowledge about the fake y'all add some y'all add something um a big thing with these beings is that they cannot um since their body is sustained by absorbing energy specifically like um more like negatively oriented energy if you use a high frequency it destabilizes their energy and then they can't hold their form anymore and they got to go away something also important is the fact that if you accept your own negative qualities then they can't feed off of that like they try, they try to make you sad jealous angry all that type of but if you use those emotions in a beneficial way like for example if you're angry find out why you're angry and make change inside your life you have all that energy to actually make change that's what anger is for when you're sad it's a time to sit back and reflect on your life when you're jealous just be like okay why am i jealous to become a better person that allows you to much no longer feel jealous so if you transmit your own negative energy they can't take it from you to actually attack it's a very big thing with them oh yeah nice point nice point i mean that's probably why it feeds ego to the target so you will not question yourself because they are like you're perfect the way you are if you think that you will never grow if you're like oh i never make mistake i am perfect i mean i am amazing i'm always perfect if you are in that mindset you will never question them and that's just 
toxic positivity, I think, like just believing you're all love and light because none of us are. <laughs> now I go into astral creatures. So when like there is layers in astral and if you go into like a very deep down in the astral plane, dark, you know, dark astral or whatever you want to call it, there are some not very pleasant creatures living there. And Bat Balls is one of them. These guys, Batman, <laughs> I don't want to call them Batman because we respect Batman. We are Batman. <laughs> So I call them Mothman actually. So they're kind of short, have those black wings and stuff. Uh, they have like frog kind of slimy skin, which is disgusting. Let's be real. So <laughs> uh, are enslavers of anger and depression, despair, anger, whatever. If you're feeling any of this stuff, don't do astral burn for real. Like don't try to do astral when you're feeling any of this because this guy just low to pick their you know targets if they are like having these emotions and the uh, how we spot them they will always try to turn their targets into substance abusers especially alcohol if you feel like there's like a demon whispering you drink alcohol <laughs> It might be <laughs> this guy. By the way, if you love ba real bats, I'm a vampire, guys, please. <laughs> and here it says uh, they employ telepathic hypnosis that manipulates the lower part of the brain and forces the subject to be compliant. They feel their victim's fear, gain control over them, and hurt their physical bodies and soul through substance abuse. We say no alcohol. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to shame anyone here. If you're drinking, okay. But this is just, I'm just talking about substance abuse, and it can be. Of some other thing, not even up. <laughs> yeah. Leech. Okay, I was not really going to add the leech because let's be real, none of you, most hunt like 999%, <laughs> never going to meet a leech. But these guys are like uh, witches or wizards that turned really dark and they're like known as kings or queens of the necromancy. And necromancy is like undead magic, basically. Uh, and the, uh, I mean, I am going to talk about and teach about vampires. We're going to talk about <laughs> I'm a human right now, hybrid alien, <laughs> which had a past life as a vampire. Okay, uh, we will talk about vampires later. So right now the leeches, um, these guys feed from like soul, soul energy. And these guys live in the dark, very low, 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 dark, dark <laughs> astral plane. And they like have layers, um, like they have like ca castle-like houses and stuff. And they will not, I just wanted to talk about them a little because they use leeches, <laughs> like leeches use leeches to attack and feed humans these guys are a little problematic leeches are dark low astral creatures who feed on human soul and they find their target when they're depressed and suicidal uh they like especially feed off the slow death suicide energy i mean this can be triggering for some people i'm sorry but i just want to teach so if the person starts to physically harm themselves they get inside and multiply and like become like a venom basically and they feed off the soul's energy and they can also attack a person uh, and other people without getting inside as well and uh, they can also like contage and jump into other people from people we had like a leech problem before but it's now taken care of i mean um, this can be like a sensitive topic for <laughs> some people i just want you guys to be aware of the situation uh, some people that you know have leeches i'm not saying like oh stay away from them but they can be very cha chaotic and they will cause chaos on other people and hurt other people as well and what these guys hate is light language high vibrational music and sound you can use like open like on youtube with high vibrational music and sounds and frequencies and they can like boom, drop dead <laughs> not that but they will leave okay aunties i actually i don't know a lot about them because i only saw a yuanti once and it was like attacking uh siki i think i don't know if siki is here <laughs> and they're not all evil of course by the way i love snakes i have two snakes in astral as pets we love snakes here <laughs> but these guys are kind of have like a ego stuff like they call themselves the favorite ones they're, they have all the they have tribes very ancient culture and stuff and some of them are worshiping demons and not doing very much uh positive stuff <laughs> uh it's they are not very common to attack a human or they will not really come here i think but um they when they attack you will definitely feel it 
and they are very slow at attacking they will just like boo 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 you know they're slow and sneaky so you will definitely notice and get rid of it easily and these guys i think if i remember correctly don't like like um like incense so you can burn like sandalwood and incense and stuff the other thing that by the way i never ever saw one of these things but i still wanted to add them because they kind of look cool like <laughs> i don't even know how to say that tilling kalis tilling kalis Tilling Kalis are top human, uh, low <laughs> giant scorpion. Where are my Scorpio ladies? <laughs> Me when I am on my <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. I, just, I couldn't hold myself from saying that. Uh, they're like half scorpion, <laughs> half human looking uh, thing. And they're like very... Uh, they're like kind of like very much warriors so, uh, but i never saw them actually i just saw them in a book and i just wanted to add them so uh, the, you guys are probably not going to uh, also see them <laughs> thank you chloe <laughs> they are also have like tribes and like an ancient culture and stuff but i don't think they are uh, hunting humans <laughs> much in the astral or, or anything i mean miguel uh, if one of them attacks you and you attack back please tell us how it goes because we have no idea i don't want to look at that it looks cool <laughs> so this information i only got from a book i'm gonna be real <laughs> i never saw one of them okay shadow before i go to the shadow creatures do you guys have any questions about the lower astral beings okay if there is no question i'm going to go to the shadow creatures hey um i just wanted to ask why are you targeted so often girl i don't even know <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I'm a GFL um, agent, like for real, I have all the contracts and stuff. I am like working in the astral and on Earth as well. So I go on missions, like physical kind of missions in astral. So that's why I have been seeing so many different creatures and stuff. But I am also um, holding back. I am not all love lights. Very much, t t very much trigger. They call me bad names and they call me a villain. And I am very proud of it, actually. <laughs> And I have been into this business for a very long time. So you see a lot. So many stuff happen. We learn. And I always do mistakes because I am not scared of doing mistakes. But we learn. <laughs> we heal. So you can get like attack or all, all those things can happen. But you know, you learn, you heal. There's nothing to be scared of. You're welcome. Okay, shadow creatures. Demons. When I say demons, you guys can name whatever. So some people call all the shadow beings demons. Some don't. So that that's why some people say, oh, Oh, not all of the demons are evil but some people say but no the ones who are evil are called demons so it's just name play you know these guys <laughs> I'm just talking about the evil ones created from fire and most cultures believe they were created right after the angels uh, to balance the universe and they live in tribes as well and their their kings can live up to like thousands of years they live very long and there are so many different yes demons can have different forms I'm going to talk about some different kind of stuff here as well and they are known to be have having anger issues which I can I can relate because I <laughs> <laughs> some of us here also have anger issues i'm not gonna give names if you know you know <laughs> so some demons <laughs> it can work with humans like some witches work with demons and some other people also but i don't recommend guys if you're no pro like if you are a pro witch and you're doing your thing and uh, you know go for it i'm not here to judge but i will not recommend <laughs> anyone to work with them because like they are very powerful very dangerous very tricky and the ones who mess with humans are you usually the bad ones evil ones you know like a good gene good demon or whatever will not just come and mess with humans or talk with humans at all i don't recommend really killing them <laughs> because their tribes can you know come to the revenge i just uh, i don't work with them never work with them and i don't plan to and i don't really also fight with them i'm more like jailing the archons kind of god okay succubus and incubus so they're called demonic tieflings or a type of a demon or whatever you call it succubus are the female versions incubus are the male versions and when they attack a person they attack the sacral to suck energy and corrupt the human mind so they will go in a lower state these uh, demons can uh, like attack you in a dream state and they will shapeshift into something that you might desire like a fe female or male or whatever and they will try to like do lustful sexual stuff to trick you if you fell into the trick they will suck your energy but 
uh, if you have a balanced sacred chakra they cannot do anything like if a succubus or incubus attacking you you might question like oh maybe i should work on my sickle you know just try to improve yourself and <clears throat> some people actually uh, want to get attacked by this <laughs> you know the 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 ones with the corrupted mind so if you just let them attack you they will just visit you come again and again and uh, if you notice they are trying to trick you attack you you can can use lights to get rid of them you can call like an angel or using like a you know sacred holy light and stuff i think uh, i don't want to give names if you want to give your name you can but someone here in, in here was attacked by a succubi and they called oh yeah i, I was talking about luca i just <laughs> didn't want to uh just name drop without your permission yeah luca just called upon like an archangel light and they it just ran away uh let me check some questions you guys ask is it possible to be an inc incubus in your past life yes it is possible and we're not he shaming here everyone has a, a like a dark or evil that's how you find light yes i agree with kali we be careful and that's why we are here we are learning uh what if that happen on not conscious stream astral travel well if you are not conscious like you cannot really it can be something else i i don't really know because i'm i, I think i didn't really understand bad is going to happen like if you e even get like fully attacked by these things they will just you know it's like a little energy they're just using no not every sexual dream is an attack i mean we are human we have you know that like that is a part of our life too we have times that we get you know if you i mean if as long as um your sacral is balanced and you are like experiencing sexual things in in like a sacred way it's amazing it's part of life you're not judging it's normal <laughs> uh, what happens? Oh. oh okay sure go ahead i'm sorry so for example let's say if you're being attacked would you be able to call in, like i don't know a deity or a higher being like even if you don't work on them or if you've never like contacted them i mean sure uh, of course i would personally uh, will not take a chance if I don't know much about the being. Maybe you can experience something before you use it an attack. But you can just call like an angel archangel. You don't really need to be like actively working. I don't know much about deities. I think you, especially angels, will definitely come and help. You're welcome. I hope I was helpful. Uh, I was just reading a question. What happens if succubus or incubus were good? I mean, they will just probably living their best lives. Once succubus and incubus fell in love, they, they decide not to use their sexuality as a weapon and they just become a family live happily ever after <laughs> they're still conscious beings guys like their whole life is not based on attacking humans we're just talking about evil ones and if they attack how they attack how to protect ourselves so this is just for education of course every being can be good so next one skinwalkers so skinwalkers are, I, I think it's the weakest one <laughs> Not the judge, guys. <laughs> but skinwalkers live in nature. Villages, forests, they will not really... Like, if you are living in a city, you will probably never ever see one. Uh, if you are not really, you know, going to the woods or anything. But the skinwalkers uh mostly animal shape but their true form is kind of very wicked <laughs> not very pretty sure look what you can add um they're mostly known as shape-shifting into an animal i think only powerful ones really can turn into a human even if it's not shape-shifting it can create a human sound like a child crying, woman screaming, or animal sound. So the human get tricks and they like get close to the area. There was just one time for me that I had a little experience with a skinwalker. I was in my hometown village and there was a storm coming and we were just outside about to go home. And we heard like one single sheep sound coming from very close to my home and we were like oh my god just one sheep got lost or something because sheep are usually like all together in sh I, I forgot the word <laughs> you know how this are used together <laughs> so just one single sheep alone and storm is about the coming I, we were, I was worried but my sister didn't let me go that after that i noticed bro like there were no sheep there it was just trying to trick well you can add um your amazing uh, information so this information is more geared towards my uh american people so i'm sorry for my europeans but 
while I was uh, researching more about uh, native shamanism and I came across um, their description of skinwalkers and how they do their stuff and most of them are an I- inexperienced which means that they won't leave their sacred places in uh, for example Navajo Nation so it's very unlikely for you to uh, find a skinwalker in a big city or somewhere culture yeah. itself isn't present because they take their power from the sacred sites unless they are super experienced and powerful but that is very rare to encounter yes thank you i mean that's why i no also said like i also said like they're not really like i am living in a city they're of course never going to be a skin walker here yeah. oh. they always like live in their sacred areas like mostly they're like forest or swamps or you know stuff like that so when they try to trick a human they want the human to walk into their space so as long as you're not coming close <laughs> and they're not very strong because i saw some videos on the internet <laughs> like i know they they are not like facts but they you can like uh, get away from them shoot them or even attack them easily i have to add something in so sure. i grew up on the reservation and a lot of times skinwalkers will be deer with most of my yeah, um, like- native friends i talk to they told me uh when they saw a skin and i feel like i've also seen a skinwalker because i saw this deer but it was not moving like a deer i was with i was with um, my cousin his girlfriend and it was like a deer but it wasn't moving like a deer it was moving yeah. like i don't think it was no deer but nothing happened but yes they they usually like turn into a deer that's their main animal they mm-hmm. will be coming. i think it's about the area they're living and the most common animal maybe living there because like in my culture it's mostly known as a goat because we don't really have much deers in my country oh that could be <laughs> also um in, i also heard this i don't know how true it is but at night you don't want they might come and find you and come after you like you don't want to say yeah. the name at night you don't want to say the name skin like if you're in by a sacred site i'll still try to come yeah there are also many like folklore stories about tricking humans and scare stories and stuff like that uh, but of course we are strong humans <laughs> and we're not scared of skinwalkers uh, folklore stories might be like over exaggerated to you know be more artistic and scary in like lore sense uh, if you guys want to add more if not i'm going to go to the ghouls uh yeah luca you're right actually in my culture we also believe they cannot turn into some animals cannot turn into others like we believe they cannot turn into like a wolf i think yeah yeah and i would also like to add to uh answer to dini uh what i got from that video i posted is that skinwalker yes. is usually um a shaman pr- um uh, somebody who was about to become enlightened and shaman in the community but turned to the dark side because it was pursued by the dark spirit usually on the path of learning how to shapeshift because it takes like years and years of practice to do it the right way and they got pursued by the wrong way and that is how they yeah. became there are also lots of similar stories about the other like evil beings how they they got cursed and became that so that's yeah. like a similar i see maybe they are like they could be like a good gene kind of being and um, like astral kind of being or whatever you call it but they got corrupted and became like this like that's actually what i believe because becoming evil is a choice <laughs> so yeah i also saw stuff like they are like oh dark which is dark a human will not become a skinwalker i don't believe that <laughs> i think this is uh, the way of people scaring other people so they will not do witchcraft or stuff like that they're like oh don't do that you might turn into a skinwalker i i mean like a being can turn into a skinwalker but i don't think a human can become a skinwalker yeah it is possible to find all those different- so i'm going to start talking about the ghouls which i have <coughs> personal experience with ghouls are very uh, common actually <clears throat> most of the time a people says like oh there's like a demon something a shadow being in my room usually a ghoul because they are uh, they they are known to be like living in graveyards but they also live in they are they live where the humans are because they eat from the graveyards <laughs> they are <laughs> known to be eating from the graveyards three ghouls were messing with me in a dream they like trapped me in a dream loop and one of them actually told me i mean i don't even want to say they eat from there you get it you get it (laughs) they can travel not the dirt the okay (laughs) they from graves that eat flesh it is right here (laughs) 
uh, okay, so they feed from fear and they are also known as like energy vampires, kind of, because they can like suck energy through the solar chakra and stuff. And uh, they also have power to attack you in like a dream state and trap you, but not really like you're going to get, of course, trapped in, <laughs> in the dreams. And by the way, if you guys hear a background sound, I am very sorry, there's like some chill ch children playing in the uh, street. So they also known to be having kind of like shape-shifting powers but their true form which i met so one it was very wide but lean built like a door and their skin and flesh is super hard it was like pure black and like a burnt wood almost like a burnt flaky and black and when the dude attacked me he tried to trap me about it by um biting his shoulder and spitting on his <laughs> okay i bite its shoulder that's just my vampire nature guys you will learn <laughs> you will learn soon <laughs> Okay, so you can get rid of them by, like, these guys, like, almost all the shadow beings have these things. They hate the smell of bay leaf. Like, you burn a bay leaf just a little tiny bit, and it's just the smell is in your room, they will not come inside that room. And, like, if you are getting visited, feeling like you are getting visited by shadow beings, you can always use bay leaf for protection. Like, you burn it, the smell, maybe you like it or don't, bro. You gotta use it. <laughs> and uh, some people are feeling like, oh, some beans, like a shadow bean is attached to me. And this is just, not just for, but it can be about other stuff, which I'm also going to talk about just after this one. Burn a dry needle dry needles are so powerful so important i recommend 100 percent uh, dry needle burning is kind of like banishment and they will like uh, won't really be attached to you anymore won't really visit visit you anymore the smell of the dry needle kind of similar to the bay leaf as well i definitely definitely recommend getting bay leaves and dry needles if you don't get a small thing uh, it will just go a long way the sleep palace demon actually palace are kind of similar to ghouls but i think palace are um okay danny i'm sorry but they actually look even scarier in real life i tried to, to actually use like cute pictures simple pictures <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> they are uh, like a weaker version of a ghoul like i don't think palace is like eating actually like uh, palace just feed from fear they are trying to make you scared and when you are scared they feed from it and they of course ca my cows like sleep palace thing like lots of people saying they got uh, like a sleep palace demon it's usually this guy's kind of like a loser when i say stuff like that it makes me realize why i am always giving it <laughs> But let's be real. Attacking people when they're sleeping, that's just that's a dirty move. So they can talk, show themselves in different war, uh, forms or like a scary form. So you will get scared. Like the whole thing is they just want you to be scared. So as long as you're not getting scared by it, like you're showing, you're strong, you're not weak. Bro, come at me, bro. <laughs> if you think you can get me, come get me. Also, if you laugh at them, you're like, ha ha ha. <laughs> if you laugh at them, you don't get scared, they will just leave and never ever, like, really try. They will be like, oh, this be bro, I'm so <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of bullying, but they are attacking people when they're emotionally stressed, weak, and attacking children, by the way. Who does that? They deserve, they deserve all these uh, things that I am saying. <laughs> Like, so many people get down when they're child, bro. You're attacking a child when they're sleeping, scaring them so just so you can feed energy? Hell no. I will bully. I will bully. I I'm not ashamed. <laughs> You can also, like, same thing, dry needles to get rid of them completely, um, bay leaves to send them away. <clears throat> like, if you want to, like, completely get rid of all these things, not just especially one of them, just show that you're not scared. Because you're not. Like, you see how the bro attacks? They come to you when you're trying to sleep. Who does that? A weak being does that. You're weak, and I will not. <laughs> I will not get scared. Okay, so uh, do you guys have anything to add, talk about, or ask a question about to the past demon? I do have one more question. Sure. So what is the main thing when it comes to fear? Because like, as I'm looking at this, I really was about to leave this. I was about to leave the live show. But it's like, I need to educate <laughs> myself and know how to protect myself from these things. But it's like, I'm not going to lie. I really be scared. Like, <laughs> I mean, are you scared like the thing is going to do something to you? Where is the fear coming from? I don't want to to touch me i don't even want to look at it i don't want to be i don't even want to be around it and then when i know what it can do 
that mm-hmm. makes it worse. It can't really do anything, to be honest. It will not really physically harm you. Like, it can't do much. All the thing it wants is that, that you get scared so they can feed from it. Like, it sees you like a food source. And as long as you're not feeding it, it will, like, very much uh, visual. And some people say that it talks and stuff. Like, my sister got one, actually. Uh, we were <laughs> really worked on it for a long time but mm. after we did the dry needle stuff it just went away and never ever visit again actually Why? so maybe you be more open not really care about how it looks so is this just for the sleep paralysis demon or all of the beings i mean uh, the ghoul can be something similar the energy sucking stuff but you are they like none of these guys are powerful than you like for real before even i joined gfl i fought with a ghoul and i bite it like heard it and it ran away from me so <laughs> there's always a way as long as you know your power you're like you're powerful and you can all of course always do angelic work light work and if you like have a religion or something like or working with a deity you can pray you know uh, there's so many things to add to your power maybe you know whatever <laughs> whatever makes you more confident in your own power you cutie patootie from like making fun of them laughing at them it's just a game <laughs> i'm not saying like i am fearless everybody got some you know things that still they're working on stuff then that looks like a police <laughs> i love laughing at them like i was trapped in a dream loop and after i finally get out of it i laughed so much i don't know why like i was just laughing it was kind of like a fun experience <laughs> while these beans are attacking me i was like laughing and i just said that i don't know why i guess <laughs> i'm just kind of used to it because i'm like a warrior in soul but after i left they never ever visit me again <laughs> bro i don't know how i am laughing i just just happens i just laugh i am laughing i'm not really scared of what is happening because i always know like it's just going to end after some time i just try to uh, see the good side of every experience because every everything has an end and i know n- nothing bad is going to happen to me after all every night sun is going to shine i'm going to wake up <laughs> like a day is going to just roll on and nothing in my life is ever going to change just because a weak ass plan is directed <laughs> like my life is not affected bro thank you very much for your care and visit okay godless by the way um so laugh because that isn't i mean that is real we die but born again so it's not an end but that is real <laughs> but it's not the end of you but uh humans are actually you guys you guys know we are like um star seeds so we see higher power out there uh, maybe some ets are more powerful angels are more powerful like you see it kind of like that but you actually not even noticing humans actually super powerful just you being a human you are powerful you don't need uh, like a so high power <laughs> you are powerful just the way you are you don't even need to be like a star seed or like an angel or anything just as a human you're powerful than them <laughs> also yes there's a jail i work for the jail by the way i love the jail there's a jail in astro i mean i will talk about the J- jail more in another event now it's like time and i'll just i just want to go <laughs> i mean in the jail they all stay separately they're not together and some beans are even in like coffin size i love the coffins yeah thank you elia elia just made amazing comments i'm a vampire loves coffin <laughs> Why is that kind of true? <laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing so much. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm moving on, guys, okay? We're going to talk about vampires later. Very soon, very soon. <laughs> okay, goblins, actually goblins, they are like <clears throat> shadow goblins. They are also like extraterrestrial. Like, there's there are also goblins in space, guys. So, actually Cash told me before, I didn't know that. Cash told me goblins are like half. But I still wanted to add them in the shadow part. Because they there is also like goblins on Earth. Like, kind of like similar to shadow creatures so <clears throat> and goblins are like um i mean you guys on demons and stuff like they live very long uh, these guys live very short even shorter than like a human or similar to human they also have like tribes they are very they always stay together like living in like big uh, big tribes and they also attack when they attack they also usually attack together with a group but of course the guys there is positive goblins as well uh, i mean i feel like i wanna 
just say over and over again about every uh, race. I mean, even though I said in the beginning, there's like good and evil ones in every... There are the good ones, there are the more negative ones. And uh, the negative ones actually kind of similar to dark race. They also cannot really survive in a high frequency vibration. And the ones who like attack human, they usually cause nightmare. What I noticed in couple people, like they were attacked by goblins. It was always a green goblin. After they attack, there's like a green dust left on the body i mean there's always like a energy left on a people after someone it attacked them so i can see that and uh, green goblin is just a uh, <laughs> um, type of a goblin they are they are different goblins there are also hobgoblins regular goblins known as like they're very short very swift fast uh, bros and there are also hobgoblins kind of goblins the opposite like tall muscular strong but they're not as smart maybe um the people who got attacked by a goblin i only noticed that like, they all they of, uh, only said they saw nightmares and stuff and nothing else actually so i don't think they will they're like a, they're like a big problem with the goblins <laughs> i guess goblins hate alea <laughs> You know when a, like a, a evil group hates you, you're doing something right. I mean, I get hate and love a lot, so... Yes, they're scared of you, that's why they attack you. That what ha that's what happens, you know, when you're getting so many attacks. That you know, that's because they're attack of your potential. <laughs> so, okay, orcs. Shadow orcs. I mean, kind of similar to goblins. Uh, in my culture, we call them marids. They are uh, big boys, very strong. And they have like wolf kind of ears and like tusks. And they're known to... They're like very kind of similar culture with the goblins, actually. But these ones, not really messing with the humans as much. Because they usually more living away from the humans. Like, there are different kinds, like mountain orcs. Uh, they're more like fighters. Uh, there's like grey orcs, less bestial, more civilized. Maybe but they're good guys, some of them. More bestial, live in the caves and underground. Go to the service to hunt. And they have. They also have anger issues, which we can relate. <laughs> easily offended. Oh no. <laughs> Luca, do not offend them. They get easily offended. <laughs> But they have like a very much like a warrior um, lifestyle, so they have like a very warrior uh, soldier mind, kind of smart mind. <laughs> I don't know what to add more because I also never fought with an orc. If any of you actually get face to face with an orc, I have a problem. Welcome to talk about it. You know, uh, goblins and orcs also uh, there are like shadowy ones living on Earth, but there are also like ET kind of ones living in space, and they are like elite reptilians, the evil ones of course um, um when i say reptiles i mean archons archonic reptiles <laughs> and the, there are archonic orcs i actually saw an orc one time ever in my life and i was on a mission in astral and we were clearing up uh, archonic reptilian labs laboratories where they mess with beings doing experiments on beings uh, creating you know dna doing dna stuff and all. Uh, we went into like a we were like in a bandit planet we went to a cave but we learned the archons actually heard we were coming uh their uh, work and they left so when we get inside they were already left but they left two beings there were prisoners archonic reptilians the archons were doing experiments on and one of them was an orc like for real orc not even looking like this shadowy thing it was looking like a orc you know and it was just looking so sad he was a prisoner of the archonic reptilians and i don't know what they did to the bro he didn't even try to fight or do anything he just stood there and we just take him away and we took him uh by our department like hospital so there as you can see they can also also be like enemies so this is my only experience with the orc if you guys don't not add in anything we came to the fun part finally underwear creatures and we're going to talk about the vampire <laughs> so i'm so excited <laughs> where's my vampires at Aleya, chris ash here is ash here <laughs> um okay i'm tra starting then underwear creatures disclaimer most of the underworld creatures are neutral and this video is for education so <clears throat> most of the vampires werewolves the sealies and stuff i'm going to talk about most of them are neutral some of them good and some evil just like you know humans every race we're not here to judge i mean i'm being a little overprotective because i'm a web <laughs> but here we go so vampires actually coming from a very old like vampires are more old than humans probably <laughs> <clears throat> so Dr <clears throat> dracula actually uh coming from the word 
Dracu, which is the same word as Draco. So Dracula means the son of the dragon. Uh, but some people, uh, like the vocabulary change right now, the word Dracu used as the word devil, devil. Because also dragons were seen as like devilish beings in some cultures. Anyway, so Dracula means... By the way, I met Dracula. <laughs> real, there's a Dracula guy. And I met him and he was like not evil at all. He was like fully yin-yang for real. Yin-yang, bro. We respect. <laughs> so they have different DNAs, but they're not like Draco humans, though. It's just a nickname, I think. They have like lots of different kind of like they are not Draco human. <laughs> this is a nickname. <laughs> I just want to be clear. This is just a uh, fun fact, okay? Uh, my opinions on Vampire the Masquerade. By the way, I really couldn't stand to read all of them. Not really correct, but there was definitely good, n nice lore information there for real. But the way they show the vampires, it's just not really true because the vampire is actually not undead bro i i'm not i'm sorry to let you guys know vampires don't live forever they're not undead <laughs> they're not devils <laughs> they also age wow <laughs> okay the, we're talking about the real vampires so oh uh, yeah look at that it's like symbolic because uh, vampires have like kind of like draconian uh, powers and facts but they also have like human and they also have Vin venus by the way, Venus DNA as well. But very, very ancient, by the way. I'm not talking about the current current Venus. Right now, Venus is very uh, much positive light. <laughs> like a, There's like a school there. It's amazing. Anyway, vampires. Uh, some are good, some are neutral, some are evil, of course. And only the evil ones ever attack human and taste human blood. OG vampires only drink monster blood. And when I say monster, I'm talking about the beans we just talk about, baby. <laughs> when I said get attacked by a ghoul and I bite it it was just my vampire nature working because vampires do actually drink ghoul blood as well <laughs> uh, vampires live by clans so there are uh, different clans <clears throat> there are also families families family group inside clans and the different kind of clans different kind of vampires known having different kind of powers which i'm going to also talk about in an so the most powerful vampires are not the oldest but there is like a generational uh, caste system kind of thing with the vampires where like older generation ones are the most powerful they're called the clan leaders the masters the sires and yes there are sires actually i have a sire as well i'm not really my sire right now i had a sire which i still respect him so uh the new clan leaders after the you know old ones get old and want to retire the people choose the, when i say people the vampires choose who is going to be the next leaders and they get higher generational uh, blood power like i said vampires don't live forever higher generational vampires like vampire clan leaders and all live longer the weaker ones who are lower generational are kind of live less i mean there's definitely um conflicts definitely definitely political things happened tenochtitlan was a vampire city and people say oh the aztec people sacrificed their leaders <laughs> when economy was bad and stuff they were vampires <laughs> they were vampires years <laughs> and there was like political war out there <laughs> so it's the reality so uh and about the sun thing like oh vampires burn in the sun only like the very very old ones and the evil ones who drink like human blood to live longer 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 because like blood is like life juice right <laughs> So uh, the ones who are evil have, and want to live for thousands of years, like they get super, super old, but still alive and only staying alive by drinking human blood and stuff. Only they get hurt by the sun. The regular vampires will not get really hurt by the sun. And the cross thing, <laughs> you know, oh, a cross shape is come. The vampire like, apple I'm burning. It's like fake, of course. It's just a religious thing. If you are using, so holy water will work? No, <laughs> no. Uh, but any religious symbol and thing can work if you are a cleric and using your power and like asking help from a DT to fight like a vampire it can work in any being just like now so <clears throat> garlic tink can work by the way you know when people say oh garlic poison the vampire it's, it can work if you use it right as like a protection sigil like a you know if you do like a ritual thing sun is not a dead lily <laughs> so i'm talking about the vampire types um okay so vampire symbols of by the way guys this is me <laughs> this is kind of how my past life looks when i was an aztec uh vampire i literally like this is like a evil beast slide and i put myself but look how i slayed i was actually a positive vampire in this look we were uh 
with Alea, we were together. Positive vampires fighting the negative vampires. <laughs> so I put this one specially because, you know, in West, people know as like, oh, vampires are bats. Like bat symbol, symbolism in the vampires. In Aztec culture, uh, South American culture and stuff, vampires were known as snakes. And if you look at Tenochtitlan right now, there's like all snake sculptures and stuff. Like you can really see how it was a vampire city. Anyway, so vampire types. Like there's lots of different subclasses. I'm just I just put like the most known base uh, basic ones. So city vampires, the vampires who live like underground cities and like more closer to humans maybe. They didn't really hunt. Like right now, a city vampire living right now on Earth, like they will probably never ever hunt in their life because they buy monster blood from other vampires or werewolves actually so they have more social powers where they can do mind control maybe like telepathy and telekin stuff maybe like it can change by human by human but i just put like the basic ones and there are warrior guard vampires who are mostly responsible to protect the vampire fields and they have like super fast super strong senses and uh, reflexes and <laughs> Okay, so uh, the vampires who hunt a healing in their spell. So, <laughs> yes, yes, like cats. Like you have the fangs, right? Like you are hurting something because you are like biting it, hunting, and you're like drinking slurp, 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 yummy. And then your spit has this healing power because after you, you are done, your the spit in your mouth like heals the wound you make. Yes, so I actually can't. <laughs> Anyway, so mage vampires are... By the way, mage vampires also work with the guard vampires to protect the fields as well. They do like invisibility cloaking clan houses and stuff. But they also have illusion magical powers to, you know, trick tricking stuff. And, uh... Well, do vampires have reflection? If they're on the physical realm, they have a reflection. If they're like more like astral vampire, they will not have like a physical realm. So druid vampires, where's my Aztec babes at? <laughs> Druids are uh, beings who have like magical powers by nature and they love nature, living in nature, all about nature. And they have shape shifting abilities. There are lots of different druids, by the way. I'm just talking about like the druid vampires. There are druid mages, human, like in Orion and stuff, like Luca was one of them. But uh, druids, druids are kind of like shamanic uh, people sometimes. They have like, uh, they are very connected with nature and animals. And druid vampires could do like stuff like that like shape-shifting and weather and nature magic when i say weather magic like they can change the weather and do like nature like um, making flowers bloom and stuff you know and they also had like strong senses and healing speed as well because they were also like hunters just like the warrior ones. Druid is just your European shaman. Okay, yes. They're kind of like, yeah, I mean, kind of similar. So when you see a vampire, it might be hard to recognize them. It was hard for me when my sire first visited me. I didn't understand. He was a, like, noticed he was a vampire for some time. Because they look human, bro. Like, they don't even look like, oh, dracon human or, you know, Venetian. <laughs> they just look like earth human, for real. So they were good at sneaking, hiding and stuff. But they're also like their natural form is just also like human like they don't look like scary monster or anything they are very charmful people you know they got the riz <laughs> and um, vampires clans have very strict rules uh, all the vampires need to listen the rules and if a vampire does something evil the there's like a very big punishment and they might even get you know killed <laughs> if they like do something very bad like because the punishments are so if they do something bad because just so many wars within the vampires and with the others beings like uh, some werewolves and vampires were like enemies but some were like friends they were like working together fighting together fighting each other there was just so many stuff happen happened in the past so right now they are very strict too uh, so they will not the fights will not happen again it's not impossible, but very low chance you will get face to face with a vampire physically on Earth or in other place, astral or something. And if you think like a vampire is going to attack you or something, you can scare it off by saying like, "Oh, I will come close to me. I will just call your clan right now, and I will tell them what you are trying to do." And they will get scared for real because all the vampires are kind of like scared from their higher ups. Any questions about the vampires? I'm gonna call your mom. That's 
That's what I'm talking about. Their mom can be their sire <laughs> as well. I'm gonna call your sire right now. I don't think so. I mean, the evil vampires might have some did something like that. I'm not possible, I think. I mean, clans uh, have a big role in the vampire culture because when someone like turns into a vampire or like born as a vampire, they have a sire, a family, and they're all like connecting to a clan. And when you're a member of the clan, you kind of get protected by the clan. But if someone did something bad, they might get kicked out of the clan so there are and some beings uh they don't want to just be a part of a clan or they don't want to serve to a sire so they will earn their freedom and they just be like a uh, free vampire so um stuff like that can happen now well, not all of them but some of them actually can but not all of them okay if there is not more question i'm going to the werewolves about the vivals, my knowledge might not be as specific as vampires because I know more about vampires because I was a vampire. But I had definitely had some relationships with some vivals as well. So I know some stuff. But some of the infos are here, like common stuff from the books and stuff. Vivals. Just like how uh, vampires had the thing with the Draco and Venus and stuff. Wolf beans are usually in the universe coming from the Sirius and... Just just like you know in the universe where there's a light version of something there might be like a dark version as opposite to balance the universe so uh serious see wolves are very wise like very light and kind of like protectors and stuff very cool i love wolves by the way but the werewolf culture in earth is very dark version of course going to say all werewolves but there were definitely like a bad ones like how there were evil vampires who were attacking attacking villages and you know doing bad evil stuff there were also evil werewolves doing similar stuff but there were also positive ones you know you see it's all same um they were there are werewolves who just have like a human form and can shapeshift into a wolf still have a human form but can shapeshift into like a half human half wolf and there are ones who are just like that half human half wolf and don't have transformed much so they are like different of the wolves um so in the earth lore <laughs> in the vampire lore they say like oh they're like werewolves are bloodthirsty bees who cannot control their th themselves and attack a uh, human and animal but that's not true guys like they can transform but they are still themselves like they don't lose control when they transform they're still they still uh, smart and have the mind of themselves but when they transform they of course have the wolf nature with the all like good smell stuff so um the evil ones who attack attacked humans or stuff they're all like responsible for their actions of course and just like there was like vampire hunters there were also werewolf hunters and actually like uh when a village was getting attacked by like an evil werewolf the village usually ask from witchers which people like humans and that's why some like evil werewolf clans pacts hated the witches so they were like specially hunting them back basically so they were like some group of evil werewolves hated the witches <laughs> and, uh, i had a kind of like, experience with them when i was a vampire every single one of us to see if we had any witches among us <clears throat> but of course good werewolves pack lived in nature only hunted animal or monsters or, like same with the monster thing but by the way and hated those evil ones <laughs> so there were like times when positive vampires werewolves and positive like fabians united together and fight against like there was like a war happened against the evil version of the evil vampire werewolves and face uh, <clears throat> full moon thing you know people say oh when full moon comes a uh, werewolves become into wolves and they cannot control themselves they just you know go all wild and crazy that's not true but the full moon actually has some truth in it because it is like a more powerful time for wolves because also when the full moon shines the darkness is gone so they can see better as well hunt better go be <laughs> yep also about the verbal types there is like a hierarchy about you know alpha beta omega stuff and they also had like clans packed and like families uh groups like that clan leaders known as alphas the most powerful and their right hands are betas and the weak ones omegas omega 
does usually don't have any rules or if a wolf is like kicked out of a pack or a group they call they were called omegas so there are lots of um you know wherever a wolf can live werewolf also can live so they're they're all around the world different kind of wolves and <clears throat> some uh, city wolves are like more into like business social just like how they were like city vampires more they were like more into business and social and politics stuff so city wolves were in business <laughs> with other races and they were just uh, selling like monster blood to the city vampires because they were also like monsters you know like imagine a werewolf pack comes they hunt a, a ghoul uh, pe ghoul ghoul people they just eat the flesh and sell the blood you know it's business. business is business guys about uh, the lichens so um lichens are more bestial version of the werewolves there are of course different kind of lichens mostly people call like the mo more bestial more like beast <laughs> go beast go ones lichens they are the ones like in the sense that they cannot control themselves uh, but lichens are usually like don't really have a human form most of them they just stand in two feet but have all the giant wolf body and they are very strong and all but there were some uh, like warrior vampires who are known to hunt lichens and stuff there were like some stuff of course happen any questions about the werewolves i might not know the answer but i will try <laughs> Um, can humans become werewolves after a werewolf beat them? Uh... I actually don't think so. I have something interesting to add on to that. What you said about how some of them do not have like human form. The World of Darkness, apart from having Vampire the Masquerade, has also a tabletop game called Werewolf the Apocalypse, where the beings are themselves called Garo, and the way they reproduce is that they the parent either reproduces with a human or with a wolf, and that is how kids come out. Are you are you getting what I'm trying to say? I mean, I uh, didn't really, uh, I didn't really know much about the game apocalypse he said neither do i it's just something i google randomly i mean we can talk about uh, the vampires and werewolves maybe later again when we know more i just wanted to yeah, yeah. Uh, i just my uh, research and my memories and stuff like that and uh, like i said i don't know as much about the werewolves as i know about the vampires because i don't really have like a werewolf connection but i know uh like the silver and gold thing is kind of true you know how they say silver burns and like more effective in fighting them um what are you guys talking about i'm just looking if anyone has a question like penguins <laughs> imagine a penguin <laughs> let's not forget to take a sip of water um i think it will be not very really correct to call them dogman because they are actually dogman creatures kind of they're like et's kind of looking like a half dog hog and they're i think they're nice i don't know much about them i think uh, silver can also work on vampires as well but it's more known as working on i mean silver is mostly known as work on like quote-unquote monsters but i also remember um people who were fighting lichens use like obsidian swords i have like a memory about that so i don't know much about actually but obsidian were cool we love obsidian <laughs> it was like obsidian and gold we think vampires and werewolves cool and we hope the positive uh, ones will also show themselves and join the society after 2027 we hope that <laughs> maybe then maybe we can actually date vampires and werewolves um, uh, are there and um, sorry rabbi for interrupting you i know some creators from which community talk to dragons about certain stuff i know one of them asked about werewolves and vampires being real they did confirm uh, um the thing with werewolves was that in every city there is at least one to guard the community from negative beings oh nice they hunt the monsters yes yeah i think so but i i, I don't know how much that that info is true i mean i am actually not really sure the vampires and werewolves will show themselves as soon as GFO mm. lands because they are very very strict on hiding themselves especially like I don't know much about the vamp werewolves but the vampires I know they are super strict like you cannot just show yourself and talk to humans like that you will get very severely punished if you do mm -hmm. so i don't really think they will show themselves as soon as possible maybe to some people like vampires come to me please <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i mean 
it it makes the most sense, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, regarding those rest restrictions, if there is actually one in every city, I guess it's either the most antisocial or the most outgoing person in the town. You never know. Exactly. Maybe all that cute guy who works in the supermarket is a werewolf. <laughs> you never know. It's always the least expected. If you guys don't have um, uh, more questions, I'm moving to do Ancelis. By the way, I think there's only like couple left. After that, we will have we can have like a discussion and the events will be over. So I'm I'm starting if there's no question. Oh, it's a really good, really cool looking lady, Ale. <laughs> By the way, I still didn't watch it. She also told me to. I'm gu guilty. Maybe we can watch together actually, Ale. If you can host the event, I would like that. I would definitely join. Where's my popcorn? I actually eat popcorn. <laughs> yes, definitely. We can do events for sure. Yes, popcorn is kind of meat as well. <laughs> I I also think that I will. I, I like snacking fruits better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ancelis and Evil Faye. So actually, I uh, we all already had like a Faye event with Faye. And shout out Faye. I show her this and she said it's okay <laughs> because I was kind of nervous to talk, uh, say something wrong. But it's all okay. So Celis and Celis, uh, they are known to be like half demon, half angel. And there is a Celi court and there is an unsealy court. And they are kind of like opposites of each other. But it's not like they had a war, like a fight. It's not like that. I mean, there were a time where Ancelis wanted to rule the old Fae realm, but they were not very successful. And they were, there was not really like a uh, active uh, with each other against, you know, the good and evil face that it was not like that but Ancelis can be kind of scary <laughs> and uh, they do esoteric magic and rituals they're kind of like more corruptive in nature you know kind of like opposites of the good uh, Fabians and in the Ancelis court there are lots of different fake creatures like fairies, pixies, and all, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, but they will they didn't really let other fae be, uh, other beings who are not fake. And they believed only the most powerful face can re uh, reincarnate, incarnate to become an Ancelli court member. And just like how Celis had a queen, they also had a queen. They called her the queen of the air and the darkness. Ancelis evil fae, they like hunt animals kind of. Like if you work with dark fae, you're like friends with dark fae. Uh, some people say the dark fae bring the human like dead animals, dead bugs and stuff. Uh, but they think it's like a good thing, you know. <laughs> We're not judging. And... So also I uh, very much heard some stories, you know, fey beings, they also have like rules and stuff. They're not really allowed to show themselves as to humans, but some dark pigs especially love to show themselves to humans. Like I heard so many stories of humans who work in forests saying they always see pixies. And one man said like he made like wishes to dark pixies. Like so you can make a wish and make an offering to the fey and even the dark fey. And if you uh, your offering is good enough, might take it and actually grant your wish. But if your offering is not made or you are not making an offering at all, just making a wish, they might take something away from you. Maybe steal something like an object or um, they might also you know, uh, take some more spiritual energy stuff away from you as well. I don't really recommend working with the Dark Fae Pixies if you're not really um, into those bad business. For example, Fae is our Fae Queen and she even said like... Uh, the CD says, like the positive and neutral face say, just don't get close to the unseedies. Just don't really mess with them. Don't talk to them. They're kind of like that. They're not really like fighting with each other, war, like killing each other. It's, it's not something like that. Any questions about the phase? <laughs> By the way, after I write this, like I have a pixie portal in my room and the pixies left me a gift. Like I would just get, get out of my computer and I look and there was like a shiny bead on the floor and like it's not from something I don't own ever. It said to Fabi, I cash and they were like, bro, that's like for real a gift from the Fae fairies because they were so happy that i was like uh, writing about them talking about them even though like i am literally talking about the evil version <laughs> so i was like D do i really deserve this like i got so happy so they are not even appreciated enough we love we love fey 
<laughs> we love oh my god they're like so sweet we don't appreciate them enough for real uh, the picture i mean i didn't want to put like a scary photos uh so this is just looking like a kind of like a dark fabian in nature so i just put that kind of like symbolic you know maybe there are because they are like elemental uh fabians and i'm like wood is also like can be like a so there might be actually some beans looking like that yes thank you kali for letting us know there are for real beans like that i'm not really talk, going to talk about like the versions of face here because there are like so many different kinds guys <laughs> like you don't even know so many but i work with uh, ice pixies when i was on my vacation i don't really work with fey much but there's a fey portal in just very close to my home in my hometown village and me and my sister wanted to eat those like snow so much and snow was melting so we went outside in the middle of the night and we did some energy work and like manifestation and stuff then i was like let's ask help ice pixies and then we did and for real like i'm not even joking it snowed snowed crazy for two days after we did that and in the weather channel it says like no snow and it's snow crazy and we went out played with the snow and all i was like thankful thank you <laughs> i didn't even do like offering i just asked for help uh we, like my sister was so happy and all this time uh, my brother even made fun of us like oh it's snowing everyone's like and robbie made it snow <laughs> and i was not even like <laughs> i was like yeah i made it snow. <laughs> like if he's messing with me i'm messing back you know anyway so <laughs> if uh, any of you want to add something you're welcome to join i just have a question did you do uh the sirens oh but, I like the earth science i mean um when we get to the science i think it's is it sir okay off uh, okay displacer beast then science here okay. you can't talk about the science then after the science there's also harpies that i think it was end and when we get to the science you are welcome to okay so guys let's get kind of fast because it's 1 a.m right now <laughs> it's okay i always sleep at like 2 a.m so displacer beast this thing you will not most likely see <laughs> that i still wanted to add because these things were uh trained by the Ancelli court the dark evil elves you know and they use these guys pets so they will like for hunting purposes and stuff so i just wanted to talk about them a little by the way these guys uh very strong killer beast kind of uh dudes but very cool and by the way these beings kind of like family oriented like they have families and they like have children kind of very similar to the felines you know like a, it's like a dark feline you can't say i guess um i mean it was not really like evil thing but they were trained by the ancillary and used by them and but after the ancillaries were kind of failed with their purpose of uh, ruling the fair realm and stuff they were not really using these guys much training much so they broke free so they are right now free but still has more a dark power <laughs> like dark side because they got like trained to become act like a beast and stuff so okay i think we don't really need to talk much about this guys i just want to add, add a bit after the face because they were uh, also like these guys kind of also like a fey actually <laughs> fey like feline trolls and ogres trolls the biggest i, I don't want to talk badly because i love shrek <laughs> shrek is love <laughs> shrek is life guys and <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not even joking by the way i love shrek uh, okay look a bye it's about to end so thank you for staying as much <laughs> okay so um they are kind of like actually the trolls look like this ogres kind of look, be looking like a shrek for real but the trolls kind of look like this but they are similar so i just put them in the same uh, page long arms uh thick hair and stuff and about the trolls the actually females are bigger than males and more powerful we say slay sister <laughs> Slay for real. <laughs> anyway, they have different uh, senses, like um, their hearing and vision is not very good, but they smell senses better. And they also kind of smelly, like Shrek's. You know, you guys know Shrek. <laughs> When you look at Shrek, you know, we love Shrek, but you know that guy's kind of smell, you know? <laughs> bye bye. Like, 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 I'm not trying to make fun of these beans, okay, guys? Like, uh, <laughs> yes, they have layers, on like onions. Like, they're <laughs> sweet inside, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, okay they're kind of like um fabians as well i think but they will not really show themselves to humans let's be real and they're all kind of different trolls and ogres as well living in different uh, fields different natural areas really love 
uh, <clears throat> living very close to humans, they will like live far away. If they are like maximum, they will like live close to a village. And they don't really have like tribes, big communities. They are very uh, prefer to live alone. Or if they have a family, just a couple people. So they are usually just living alone. Living alone in my swamp. Just my, it's my swamp. I don't want no favorite creature in my swamp. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that Shrek is kinda like a good example of like <laughs> actual real like ogres and troll. <laughs> anyway, so there's actually lots of different kind of trolls. People like in the lores and stuff, fell trolls. They like people say they have like two heads. Never seen one. <laughs> there's also elemental trolls: fire troll, ice troll, snow troll, and like uh, forest troll living like cave trolls, mountain trolls, different kind of trolls. And uh, there are also yes. Yeah, Spirit trolls. There are there are like super troll magical trolls who have like psychic abilities and stuff. Anyone wanna add anything? Trick is love. Somebody wants to be the world is gonna roll. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shit. <laughs> he was looking good at that. Oh my god. Stop crying. I love that song, by the way. <laughs> I mean, if my voice was good, I would actually sing it from the beginning to the end. But I think this is enough torture for all of you. Sirens, let's go. <laughs> yep, with the shape of an L on a forehead. You stop coming head to the rules and I hit the ground running. Did it mess up <laughs> to live for fun? You smart, but your head gets done. So much to do, so much to see, so much <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to sing more, but I love this song for real. Okay, by the way, the sirens. I'm ending the Shrek love right now and <laughs> going to the sirens because it's getting late. I put here like more like a maybe like a dark, maybe like, kind of like a Mintaka siren stuff. But the sirens on earth for real, monster like, you know, like with the uh, very sh sharp, they look more like a fish than a human. Like I'm talking about like the dark evil sirens in the earth living right now. I'm not talking about the sirens in like Mintaka. Uh, who were kind of like dark mermaids, you know, uh, or like whatever you call it. Uh, I'm not the person to teach about the Mintaka because I don't got memories about that. But we have some other people like Kali, like Alea, who have deep connections to Mintaka and stuff. I'm talking about like talking about them right now. Uh, more, I'm talking about the more like monster kind of version because you know in the universe there's a light version of something. There's always the opposite version of it, balance and stuff. Um, these people, <laughs> uh, you guys know the stories about the sirens. They sing songs to lure the people in the sea so they will get hypnotized and they will jump to the water and after they jump you know what they do nom nom so <laughs> just like i said people think they're like resembling mintakan babes uh, no in reality uh, like i didn't want to put like a scare really really scared photo here because i don't want to scare anyone sirens on earth don't look like mintakan babes <laughs> they are kind of like more beast looking i'm sorry <laughs> and they're singing like siren singing uh, is not not like human singing like with words and all just like like a vibration sound just like you know how bales speak with frequency like sound it's kind of like actually similar to that but more like a singing thing like to hypnotize and they also i saw lots of stories about that they to the boats to sing from uh like an offering they like take a fish and throw it to the boat to humans like a gift check them and lure them anyway so uh kale you can take the mic oh i don't i don't know a lot about sirens i think i did have a past life as one because in midaka i did some evil stuff but i know sirens yeah basically like you said they they lure people to their boats and then they also what they'll do is they'll like shape shift into like something beautiful into a beautiful mermaid or a beautiful like so they can lure all to their boats also they're not really like people will say they're mermaids but they're not really mermaids they're more like half bird a mermaid oh uh, actually there is like a um i'm also going to talk about the half bird stuff i think sirens are more like evil mermaid kind of uh beings because there is another being i'm i'm going to talk uh, right now harpies half woman kind of looking uh that's the only okay here harpies people sometimes mix them some people call harpies sirens there's like a different kind of uh word play because i because i read i used to research the sirens and that's what i 
that's just the information that I got. Was that? But I don't know. There are actually like si also there are sirens who are kind of looking like harpies as well. Like they're like half siren, half harpy maybe. Like they live in the water. They can live in the water, and but they also have wings. So they can go out of the water and fly like with the wings and torment the ships and stuff. And they're just uh, just harpy ones who are just, you know, breathing air. And the word harpy means the snatcher. Because they be snatching with the claws. <laughs> but it kind of turned <laughs> the word, it, it means like a very unpleasant woman. in the <laughs> Like in Greek or something, I think it means. So they're of like half bird, half human. In the lore, it just says like they're all women, but I'm sure there are male versions as well. Similar to sirens they also sing and most lore says like they live in the coasts coast am i saying the word like, closer to sea areas and they sing songs but their songs are more human like because they have more a human uh, feature face and stuff and they they can mimic you know how parrots can mimic uh, language <laughs> words and stuff they can mimic human language talk like sing with the words and stuff like their songs are more human like than sirens and they are known to be targeting like children more than like men man like uh, in the lore they say usually like oh sirens get into like a beautiful woman shape and trick like males like kind of like succubi like sexually tricking the men into looking beautiful and stuff uh these harpies known to be more like tricking children and they have like very bird nest like uh, they can live in like many different areas but they mostly known as living by the sea and they're of course the hybrid ones who have like a fish tail and a wink like half siren half harpy they can breathe both air and water like just siren can only breathe water and just harpy can only breathe air hybrids can breathe both and they just like mermaids with uh, wings kind of there are actually hybrid like like mer positive versions as well i think in mintaka like it's like a mermaid with a fish tail but they have also wings so there's also like a more positive version in series or mintaka i think i'm not really sure about that there's like a uh, mixing between these two creatures but i think this is uh, i thought this is what the correct version like these are harpies and these are sign i think this is the end yep two hours man <laughs> we made it i mean Thank you all of you for staying for real it took me two hours but we learned a lot <laughs> time flies when you are having fun right okay so if you guys any question anything you want to share we just say stay safe together slay together it's all the fighting bro slay yes <laughs> thank you everyone i had so much fun another day another slay Period. You're welcome, guys. If anyone want to ask a question or join voice, say anything, maybe share their experience, you're welcome. Bye, Andy. Love you. Thank you for the AI art that I stole from you. <laughs> Bye, my vampire brother, Chris. Bye, Z.